Another coaching search complete for John Fox. This will now be his third different head coaching job in the last five years as he takes over in Chicago. Gentlemen, it appears now he's the guy. Yeah, and Wendy, when he became available, it went from possibly the Bears waiting to talk to maybe Dan Quinn to this is the guy. You talked about a third job in five years, but he's taken two teams to the Super Bowl. He's a veteran coach who's won a lot, and you want to pair him up with a guy like Ryan Pace, who's a younger general manager. You have to be careful about hiring a younger head coach because those guys don't have the experience. This is a good pairing. I think I like this pairing. Ryan Pace, the youngest general manager in the National Football League at 37 years old. The Fox has been in the league as a coordinator, as a head coach. Guys, I think this is a good hire for the Bears. I think the Bears did the right thing to alter their search here and go for Fox when he became available because this isn't about a fit. People talk about is this, is this the right fit, and, and your point about the young GM is a good one, but John Fox is one of the better coaches in the NFL. This is a guy, I mean, we, we talk about how he couldn't get to a Super Bowl or couldn't win the Super Bowl with Peyton Manning. Okay, but he almost won the Super Bowl with Jake Delhomme. He had uh, two 11-win seasons and a 12-win season in Carolina. He won the division with Tim Tebow as his quarterback in a year where he had to overhaul the offense uh, around Tebow midseason and figure out a way to win with him. This is a coach who adapts to his surroundings, who understands what he has in front of him in terms of personnel and adjusts accordingly. That's what the best coaches do, and, and the Bears got a winner here. People forget just how close he came to winning that Super Bowl in Carolina. It was a field goal away from beating the Patriots. Having played against John Fox in Tampa Bay, the one thing I always felt like whenever we were getting ready to play the Carolina Panthers, it was going to be a tough physical football game and we knew that where the training room was going to be very full the next time that's what John Fox <laughs> brings to a football program and I think when you look at his resume like we we're just talking about he has a winning record both in the regular season and the postseason that's a great hire at this point in the process yeah, and what they'll do is they're going to get back to that power running and I think Mark yes. alluded to it, it you know, without Peyton Manning now you've got Jay Culler now we'll see if he's going to be there the quarterback but no matter who it is he's going to get back to what he wants that is smash mouth as Mark's talking about uh, good balance in offense, but he's one of those old school pound the rock type of coaches. And that's what they're going to do. Well, it's an insider's first. It is rare you get everybody up here to agree on something. So I guess the Bears did Must the right thing. We have, we, it's a unanimous decision.